guys, so I'm so excited today because I'm doing a collab with my very sweet friend, Sarai. I'm so excited. We're both going to be doing a holiday Thanksgiving makeup tutorial and we're both going to be using the Mavita Loca palette. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Look at this bad boy. Isn't it gorgeous? I do have a, a review coming up really soon. I already filmed it and all that stuff, so... Keep your eye out for that next week. Anyways, me and her are both going to be using this palette to do holiday looks. She is doing a daytime look, so more softer, easy to wear daytime look. And I'm doing the sultry, really dramatic. <laughs> I went for this really dark green and orange and bright yellow. It's just something different because it kind of reminds me of Thanksgiving. I just kind of winged for it, girlfriends. I, I didn't have anything planned. I just sort of jumped right in. I will have Sarai's video of her tutorial look for Thanksgiving. I will link it down below in the description bar as well as her channel. Go over there and show her some love. I absolutely love her. I love her channel. She has an awesome Instagram page. She's just a really great person all around. So you definitely should go check her out if you don't know who she is. I'm so excited to see what look she's doing. I have no idea. So I can't wait to see what you do, girlfriend. <laughs> I can't help it, you guys. I'm in such a good mood, and I'm just so excited. Yay! So, without further ado, let's get in the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to first prime my eyelids with the BH Waterproof Primer. Moving on, I'm going to take this matte nude shade called Mulder, and I'm just going to put this as my base color all over my lid and up to the brow bone. And next I'm taking Noble, which is this beautiful soft brown, and I'm going to use this as my transition color and just work that into the crease, girlfriend. Work it, work it. Next I'm taking Harpsichord, which is this beautiful soft burnt orange color. And again, I'm just going to work this into the crease very softly just to warm things up even further. Next, we're going to go really crazy. We're taking this soft matte green color called Misfit, and I'm going to pack this all over the lid. I wanted to do a different look today, so yeah, I just went for it. And I'm just taking a soft, uh, clean brush to blend that out. Next, I'm going to mix this chocolatey brown shade with this burgundy color, and I really like how it turned out. I'm going to focus this into the crease and on the outer corner and just really softly blend that in. Next, I'm taking this beautiful emerald green called Lemmy, and I decided to take my chances, and I took my hard candy setting spray and dampened my brush, and oh my god, you guys, it turned out so pretty. It really enhanced the eyeshadow and made it look kind of metallic. Next, I'm taking Legend, which is this soft, shimmery yellow color, and again, I decided to, hey, go for it, and put this as my inner corner highlight, and I love how it turned out. And moving on to darken up the look, I'm taking this matte black on a soft blending brush and I'm just going to darken the outer corner to make it more smoky. And then going through with a clean blending brush to blend it out. I'm going to touch up the crease again with Herpscord and with Lyric I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And it is a little bit shimmery so it just it's going to add a nice effect. Next I'm taking this mustard yellow color and just going to very gently stamp this on the inner corner on the lower lash line and then I'm going back into that green that we used on the lid, Misfit. I'm stamping that on the middle part and then I'm taking that dark green color, Lemmy, and I'm placing that on the outer corner. Next I'm taking Analog, which is this beautiful matte orange, and I'm going to smoke everything out on the lower lash line and throughout the whole look. For the waterline, I'm going to take my e.l.f. mineral liner in black just to tight mine and make my eyes more dramatic. And then going back to that black shadow, I'm just going to smudge that out, make my lashes look more fuller, and just setting that liner. Next for the liner, of course, we're using Kat Von D today, and as soon as I started using this, perfect timing when I'm filming, um, it dried out on me, so I had to switch to a different eyeliner, so now I'm using the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner, 
And I'm just going to fill that in and make it nice and black. You don't have to do a wing liner, but I really love a winged liner because it opens up the eyes, makes them look a little bit bigger. And um, for mascara today, I'm going to use this new one here I've been trying out from Buxom on the upper lashes, and then I'm using my waterproof e.l.f. mascara on the lower lashes. I decided to skip out on lashes, but you could definitely pop a pair on and make the look even more dramatic, but I really wanted the colors to stand out. So to finish off the face, I already applied my foundation and everything and contoured. So I'm just applying this beautiful rosy pink blush from Milani. It is my favorite. All the products will be listed down below. And for highlighter today, I love this golden highlight from Hard, or Hard Candy, <laughs> from Wet n Wild. It's the Hollywood Boulevard. This is just the most beautiful highlighter ever. You need it in your life. It's just as good as a higher end brand. And I'm going to set everything with my Hard Candy setting spray. For the lips, lip number one, two different lip options. The first one here, I'm using the Milani Lip Liner in Nude. I'm just going to fill that in and smudge it with my fingers. And I'm using the Kat Ma D Lipstick in Noble and then topping that with a gloss. So that is lip option number one if you want a more wearable lip with this dramatic green smoky eye look. And for lip option number two, I'm using this dark burgundy lip liner from LA Girl. I'm just going to, again, fill in my lips and line them. And then I'm using the lipstick from Kat Von D again. This is called Wolf's Mouth. If you guys missed my review on this lipstick set, definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description bar. And there you go, you guys. There is the more darker, vampier, dramatic lip option number two, which I prefer. And that is it that completes this look. Alright, so that's it that completes this holiday Thanksgiving makeup tutorial. I did two different lip options just in case someone might want to do something really bold. And I love this color from Kat Von D. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's like this metallic burgundy berry color. I think it's perfect for the holiday season. And I really love just the contrast with the green and the orange and just everything. Oh my god. I'm ready to go over to Zarai's channel and check out her makeup tutorial. More of a daytime, more wearable Thanksgiving look. I will have her video in the description bar down below. Definitely go check her out. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your friends and family. I have family coming in to stay for quite a while for Thanksgiving, so I'm really excited about that. Thank you again to Sarai for doing this collab with me. I had so much fun doing this look and doing this collab with you, girlfriend. I hope in the future we can do more videos together. Yay! Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in my next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys.